Hey guys, welcome to our channel. My name is Megan and I'm the lead spiritual advisor for the Relationship Psychics. Today, I'm really looking forward to doing this pick a card reading with you guys, which is going to be a pick a card reading on where your relationship is headed. So we're really going to dive into your current relationship and what the future really looks like for the two of you and this dynamic. But before we get started with that, I just wanted to say that if you're new to our channel, welcome. We are so happy to have you and we would love it so much if you would just hit that subscribe button so you can join our amazing spiritual family here on YouTube. All you need to do again is just hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell as well so you don't miss when we upload a brand new video or go live. Also, if you could give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below which card you choose, it would really not only help our channel, but also give us some insight into what kind of content you guys enjoy and kind of give us the opportunity to really interact with you guys because you guys are just so amazing, so positive, and we love getting to hear all of your kind and loving feedback. So definitely make sure to do that. Also, if you haven't yet heard, we just launched our brand new app, Mystica Psychic Readings. So this is really, really exciting. If you haven't already downloaded it, I actually have the link located in the description box down below, which will give you $5 of free credit towards your first reading. So basically it's an amazing app where our entire team of psychics actually get to chat with you one-on-one -on -one, 24 seven, and you get those one-on-one -on -one readings and experiences with our entire team. So basically I definitely encourage you if you haven't already, just use that link down below and download it for your $5 of free credit to get started. I'll be on there, you know, court will be on there and the rest of our team. So we can't wait to get to see you guys on there and, you know, definitely make sure to say hello. Okay, so just to really get started with this reading today, I would really love it if we can just kind of begin to unwind and decompress from all of the pressures and energies of the day. You know, as we go through life, there are just so many anxieties, so much negativity and worries and stressors that really present themselves onto us as we go about our day. So I just wanna take a few moments here to really allow ourselves to release and to unwind. So I invite you now to take a deep inhale through your nose, inhaling positive vibrational frequencies, and then exhale through your mouth, <sighs> releasing all of that negativity and all of the things which you cannot control. Just give them back to the universe. Just know that they are in the divine's hands and that all of the stress, the anxieties, the doubts, the worries, all of that, just give it back. Give it back to the universe and just know that as we release and as we surrender, we are able to let go of the burdens that cause us to not see clearly and to not be present and not be mindful and be aware of the truth. So just continue to really take those deep inhales and deep exhales as you listen to my voice. I will actually use my singing bowl right now just to allow ourselves to align our chakras and be present here in this moment. So here we go. I'm just going to lightly set the frequency, allow the energy to really just be present and align our chakras, open up our third eye and be ready, be open for this reading once more. Becoming in tune with this present energy, tapping into the divine's will for our lives and asking the angels, the saints, and all of the positive spirits looking out for us to really guide us today. And once more, being thankful, being grateful, and giving thanks and just appreciation and gratitude for the ability to be here in this moment with me. 
So I just want to give that gratitude, that thanks for this blessing, for this ability to be present in this reading here with me today. And again, just opening our mind, aligning ourselves to the will of the divine to the will of the universe and asking for that beautiful divine guidance because we have been so beautifully and uniquely created with a special purpose in our hearts and in our souls. So just tapping into that purpose, tapping in and releasing all of that which we cannot control because as we do so, we open ourselves up to the divine's timing and the divine's will for our lives. So as you continue to contemplate and meditate on these beautiful principles, as you just continue to deeply inhale and exhale, I do invite you to turn your gaze towards the three cards and crystals that I have laid in front of me. Are any of these cards or crystals really calling to you and your intuition and your inner light? Are any of them really speaking to you for any way and for any reason? Just remember to trust yourself. Trust that you know within yourself and trust that inner light to guide you here. So is it card or crystal number one calling to you? Card or crystal number two? Or card and crystal number three? Now, I just want to invite you to take as much time as you need to meditate, reflect, pray, do whatever you need to do in order to prepare yourself and really make this decision. This is your reading, so whenever you are ready, I do have the timestamps located in the description box below so you can jump to your particular reading or you can watch all three of the readings and see which aspects of the message really call to you and really speak to you in your heart. So again, this is completely up to you. It is your reading and I am just here to provide you with that guidance and that message that you have been meant to receive. Anyways, I am just so grateful and so blessed to be here with you today and to really embark on this beautiful spiritual journey. So let's begin. All right, so for all my friends who chose card number one, this is your reading today on where your relationship is headed. So I'm really, really excited to just be able to look into the future of this connection and to really explore what is ahead of you when it comes to this relationship and to this dynamic. So let's just see what our first card here has to say. Our first card is begin. So begin already really, really tells me and speaks to me and that there's going to be a new beginning for you in this relationship and in this dynamic. So it's either going to be the start of a new relationship, a start of, you know, a new chapter, or a start of, you know, a new level of commitment within the relationship. So what I really sense here is that, you know, maybe you're just at a flirtatious place right now in your relationship and in this dynamic. But what this card really indicates to me is that you're going to be able to take this relationship to the next level. There's going to be a fresh new start and there's going to be something that begins between the two of you and within your connection. So let's just read this card and see how it really applies to you and applies to this reading and this relationship going forward. So first it says, you can always begin. No matter where you are, no matter where you have been, no matter where it is you have yet to go. There is no backward, only forward. Only trusting that now is as good a time as any to pay attention to the little whisper inside of your heart. It's begging you to take the first step, my dear. It's begging you to begin. Beautiful one, please remember, it is always the right time to start. So I really feel like this card begin applies to you and applies to the future of your relationship and that whether this relationship itself will begin or whether it will kind of, you know, go to the next level, go to the next chapter or almost ascend to another aspect of the commitment and level of commitment you have. I feel like there may have been some past of like hurt and pain that either you or both of you are coming from. So, you know, maybe there was something that was said or done that caused some 
distrust in the relationship. Maybe someone was unfaithful. Maybe there was, you know, some lies or some deception in some way. And, you know, maybe it's an also from a different relationship, but there definitely has been a past of some hardships, some, you know, trauma, some heartbreak, some issues and, you know, trials that you've gone through. And what this card is really telling me right now is that, you know, it's never too late to begin again. And it's never too late to really be able to start new in the relationship. And, you know, not looking backward, not looking at the past faults or the past, you know, problems, but instead focusing on how you guys can move forward and how you can move forward together and how you can really become stronger in your relationship by being able to move forward, move past, renew and begin once more at this new level with this new understanding and with, you know, this new trust, because, you know, that's really what this card is telling me is like trusting to take that next step, trusting to begin once more, no matter what your past has presented you and whether it's been just you within your own past or whether it's been a past in this relationship, whether it's been some of the issues that have really, you know, come about between the two of you or whether it's been your own issues or their own issues. What this card is really telling me here is like, it's time to kind of put those things aside, learn from those things and really grow from there. And another really big aspect that I'm sensing from this card is, you know, trusting and paying attention to, you know, your heart, paying attention to that inner voice within that really is telling you that, you know, it's okay to, dive in. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to trust this person once more. And it's okay to almost take that next step and rise in that level of commitment because, you know, sometimes we have to take those chances. We have to begin again and find new beginnings with each other in order to really continue to grow together in love. So I really feel like this is just the time for you to take the next step in the relationship. And on top of that, you know, as it says, you're taking that step. It's really saying here too, to remember to always know that it's the right time to start. So I feel like you've had some hesitancy. You've had some almost feelings of unease going forward in the relationship. And maybe it's expressing yourself. Maybe it's expressing the level of commitment that you want to ascend to with this person. But whatever it is that's kind of holding you back, what I feel like the universe and the divine is really saying here is to instead trust. Trust that you are in the right relationship. Trust that going forward, diving in, beginning again, letting go of past hurt and past pain and seeing the new, you know, seeing the potential in the relationship and where you are headed in the relationship. That's a beautiful thing. That's a very, very beautiful thing. And that ability to trust your heart and just, you know, be open again, be vulnerable, be loving and find that within yourself and within this other person is a very powerful thing. So that's already what I'm kind of getting just from our first card. But, you know, next I actually would love to pull another card. So I'm just going to shuffle these cards here and see what else we can find. So. I'm actually, oh, so I just got this card, which is I Remember, which is Soul Plan, the Faded Life versus the Destiny Life. So again, we see here water, we see reflection. So we see new beginnings, kind of looking like you're almost kind of looking into this pond that is this relationship and that is this future with this person. And you're a little bit hesitant is what I'm sensing. Like you have this hesitancy to kind of dive into the pond and you have this feeling of unease because maybe because you've been hurt before, maybe by this person even. And what this card is really telling me here though, is that it's okay to start new. You know, we all make mistakes. We all, have regrets and you know no matter what the past has looked like you know the future can still be new the future still can be bright and there can be this new refreshing almost like you know the baptism of water you know as we refresh we renew and we let go of the old and kind of welcome in the new that's kind of what i'm sensing with you know this relationship with you going forward it's like right now you're at a turning point where you're kind of reflecting and you're almost not feeling like you could dive into the water but what this card is saying is you know there are there are things that you need to learn from the past 
So I don't want you to feel like you should just forget everything that's happened in the past, either with you or with this relationship. But what I do feel like is instead is it's like you can learn from those things and grow and you can begin again with that knowledge and with that trust in yourself and in the lessons that you've learned from the past. So that's kind of what I'm really sensing already here. And, you know, I'm just going to shuffle these cards again for us and see what else we can really learn. Here. So, oops, okay. And then I actually, okay, so I got this card next, which is, okay, so Earth School, which says life lessons, soul growth, study higher learning. So what I'm really sensing and seeing from this card is that whole aspect of diving in diving in headfirst into this relationship, whether it's diving into a new chapter of commitment, whether it's diving into a new relationship fully or, you know, a new level of any sort of, you know, connection. What this is saying is like, it's okay to just give your heart into something and believe that it's going to, you know, work out. It's okay to trust and be trusting. And, you know, what I really also feel here called to tell you guys is that when you dive, sometimes you can't see the bottom, right? Sometimes you can't see what the bottom of the lake or the ocean or the pool really has in store, but you still dive head first, you know, and oftentimes that's met with so many beautiful things, right? It's met with the wonders of the water. And that's kind of what I feel like is going to be, you know, the relationship itself. Like, yes, it does take a level of trust to dive in head first, but it is so worth it because you learn things, you grow in ways that you never knew that you could before. And that's really how I feel like this relationship and this level of, you know, change in the relationship is going to be. It's going to be, you know, new waters, new growth. It's going to require you to trust and to not forget old past hurts and wrongs, but to learn from them and grow from them and to, you know, allow yourself to not look backwards, but only move forwards and just continue to kind of level up in your learning, level up in, you know, what you have learned about yourself and about your relationship overall, and to just not allow fear to really rule here, to not let it you know, stop you from diving into a beautiful relationship or not allow you to really continue to grow in commitment and love with this person. So I feel like that's kind of overall what I'm really sensing about the future of your relationship here. But I do hope that you did enjoy this reading. And, you know, if you did, I would love it so much if you could just give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below. Also, you know, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, which we really appreciate because we just want to continue to grow and share these readings with everyone and just, you know, continue to spread that positivity and love and light. So we really do appreciate all of your continued support and everything you guys do for us. And I do have another pick a card reading, which I linked at the top of the screen up here. So if you want to check out this one next, this is definitely a really great one to watch after this. And I think you will also really enjoy this one. So so, you know, that is it for today's pick a card reading. I seriously, you know, love and appreciate you guys so much and am sending, you know, all of my love and blessings to you until next time. Bye guys. All right. So for all my friends who chose card number two on the future of your relationship and the future of your connection, let's see what our first card is and what our first card's message is for us today. So let's see. Okay. So our first card is adventure. So by adventure, I already feel like this, you know, future of this connection of this relationship is not going to be a boring one. Like it's going to be one that really presents some challenges. It presents some highs and some lows and almost really kind of exposes you to new people, new opportunities, new perceptions and feelings. And it's really going to give you a lot of insight as well, I'm sensing. A lot of insight on, you know, who you are and what you believe and what you want in a relationship. So I don't know necessarily if this relationship specifically is going to be, you know, the person that you're meant and destined to be with. But I think that this person and this relationship is going to expose you to new things, new people, new experiences, and allow you to really kind of find yourself and grow from those experiences and learn beautiful lessons about, you know, you and about love. So let's just read what the card actually says here too and see if any of these really call to us or stand out in any way for this reading. So it says, adventure. You can feel it, can't you? A gentle tug here, a soft push there. 
the steady whisper of adventure humming deep within your belly, begging you to come and dance with it. So what are you waiting for? Make the change, take the risk, embark on the journey. You were never meant to thrive within anything else but that which makes your soul come alive. So I feel like this definitely is going to be a relationship that you're going to feel a lot. You're going to feel, you're going to, you're going to feel, and it's going to be almost like a roller coaster kind of relationship because you're going to have highs, you're going to have lows. You're going to almost take risks and almost really kind of push yourself in ways that you never really knew you were capable of doing. So I feel like this is going to be kind of almost like a karmic relationship and that it's going to kind of challenge you, it's going to push you, and it's going to really allow you to see how strong you are and what you want, what you believe, and you know, it's going to give you this new perspective on life. So it's a very beautiful, insightful kind of relationship headed your way. And you know, I'm going to actually shuffle this deck here and see if we can learn anything more about this connection, about this relationship and the future of it. So let's see here. Okay, so I just pulled fall into my arms, which reads surrender, holding the opposites extremes of life. So right away, again, that really points to this theme of polar opposites, right? Very highs, very lows, hot and cold kind of relationship here. And on top of that, it's really, you know, showing us opposites. So I feel like this relationship with this person is going to be one where there's a lot of like, it's almost like an opposites attract kind of dimension here. I'm sensing that these opposites, these extremes are going to give you that sense of adventure and learning about what you want and what you believe. And you know, sometimes when we have people who push us, it can be a great thing because we can see not only our own boundaries, but we can see what we're truly capable of. And you know, we can learn from the new places, the new people and the new dynamics. So this person is gonna push you. They're going to frustrate you. They're going to kind of drive you crazy sometimes. But from those moments, you're going to learn what you want, what you deserve and what you believe. So it's going to be an adventure. It's going to be a whirlwind of a relationship coming forward. But again, one that is super crucial to helping you understand everything that you desire, everything that you believe and are and everything you want when it comes to finding love. So a very beautiful karmic kind of polar opposite relationship I'm sensing for you in your future. And I'm just going to shuffle these cards once more and see what else we can learn about this future relationship and kind of where this relationship's headed. Okay, so the next card that I just chose here is your life is a canvas, which reads artist, manifestation, creative accountability. So I feel like once more, this is showing an adventure. It's showing an open space where like this entire relationship is just going to open you up to so much and so many things, so many experiences, viewpoints that you've never really had or really experienced before. So you're going to really be able to explore, kind of go through a journey in this relationship. And you're going to learn a lot about yourself. You're going to learn a lot about who you are, you know, and again, what you want in a relationship. And it's really going to expose you to these new possibilities of love and these new possibilities and you know experiences that you have really been closed off to in the past so overall it's going to be kind of you know an up and down roller coaster it's going to push you it's going to cause you happiness joy laughter it's going to cause you pain and heartache but it's going to really grow you into the person who is ready to receive that ultimate love from your soulmate so i feel like that's really kind of what the future of this relationship on your mind is and i really hope that you did enjoy this reading and you know, if you did, I would love it so much if you could give this video a big thumbs up and also comment down below if it resonated with you because you know, I always love to read your guys' comments and see what you guys have to say. You guys are just so positive and so kind to me and we just love to get the chance to interact with you and see how how you're doing, what's you know speaking to your heart and it's just always such a blessing to be able to interact with all of you guys. So thank you for all of your kindness and we're just 
just incredibly grateful to have such an amazing community. And you know, if you haven't yet joined our community, definitely make sure to subscribe because we just love growing. And you know, as I always say, love only grows and this community just will continue to grow in positivity and light. So just so grateful to have each and every one of you. And you know, if you want to check out another pick a card reading, I actually have another one, which I'm going to link at the top of the screen here. It's another amazing one that I think you will really find super insightful and I think will really, you know, be something that you'll enjoy going forward. So, you know, that is it for today's reading. I, you know, am so grateful for all of you and I'm sending all of my love and blessings to you until next time. Bye guys. All right. So for all my friends who chose card number three, this is going to be the reading on where your relationship is headed. So where is your relationship really going and what does that energy look like and that energy look like moving forward? So let's take a look at our first card here. So our first card is reborn. So reborn. So I feel like there's going to be almost like a rebirth in this connection and in this relationship. So I feel like, you know, there may have been some, you know, hurt, some heartache. Maybe you guys are even separated currently. But what this is saying is there's going to be this new chapter. There's going to be something that, you know, kind of almost kind of disintegrated, but then it's going to reappear and you guys are going to come together closer than ever. So, you know, what this card reads here for us is it says, out of the ashes, you shall rise and the tears you once shed will pave the way for all that is light and free. And from this depth, you will arrive at your ultimate truth your ultimate joy. So I feel like, again, what this really is telling me here is that like, there's going to be like almost either a breakup or just a really hard moment in this relationship and in this connection. There's going to be something that almost causes you to feel like this is the end or it's just all coming undone and there's no point going forward in this connection. But what this card really indicates is like to have hope and to really have hope that things are going to get better and you know things are going to arise from the ashes okay and all the tears all the pain like there's going to be a lot of tears and pain and you know there's going to be heartbreak involved so you know i'm very sorry that you're going to have to experience that but after that right from this depth from this ashes right from these ashes you will be able to arise into an ultimate joy so you're going to be able to really build this relationship from the ashes rebuild it and create something beautiful create something that's going to inspire love and joy for you so that's a very very powerful reading already and you know i'd love to shuffle some of these cards from this deck and see what else we can really learn here about your relationship going forward Okay, so this is definitely the card. It just kind of popped out at us. And it is Whale and Orca Elders, which says, share your song, frequency of sound, diving deep. So I feel like there's almost going to be kind of like, there's someone in the relationship that's kind of going to be able to give you advice or like kind of lead the other one who is kind of almost like the child in some ways. And I almost feel like another aspect of this could be like, you may lean on the support of elders to kind of understand, you know, going forward the relationship. You might kind of lean on your parents, lean on the people you trust, your spiritual mentors, definitely different people in your life to really help guide you through, you know, these hard times in the relationship. And on top of that, I feel like there may be a little bit of an imbalance in power in this relationship, but what's really the aspect that I'm sensing here is don't be afraid to share your song. Don't be afraid to speak your truth in the relationship and don't be afraid to really be able to shout, be able to tell your voice, share your song, believe that your song is just as powerful, just as beautiful as, you know, your partners and to not be afraid to just express yourself in that way and communicate. So that's really what I'm sensing here is like, definitely prioritizing communication in the relationship and prioritizing this understanding of the fact that your own song, your own truth, your own narrative, your own feelings are all very valid and never let anyone make you feel like your feelings are not 
worth being heard or that your feelings are not true or that you know anything like that anyone who's trying to tell you that you don't feel or think the way you do that is not okay because you know your feelings your song is very very powerful very very true and needs to be heard and deserves to be heard so okay so i'm just going to shuffle this deck here and kind of see what other card we can find here for this reading today so let's see so i'm really drawn to this card so let's see and this card says a new earth so wow that's literally completely in line with this whole theme of rebirth because you know it says a new earth it's happening keep holding the vision so again i feel like this is going to be a relationship that really does have trials and tribulations and it's going to be a relationship that's going to have to almost need that second chance it's going to really you know it's going to take a lot of time a lot of understanding a lot of communication and a lot of ability to share your voice and share your truth with this other person and you know but the beautiful thing is really holding out that hope for this relationship because, you know, like it says in our first card, out of the ashes you shall rise. So just as this says, you know, that we will find our ultimate joy or our ultimate love on the other end once it is reborn in this relationship, there also will be that new earth. There will be, you know, that ability as long as we are able to keep holding on to the vision of what you see as the potential of this relationship and what this relationship can become in the future if you just continue to have faith. So I feel like that's really the ultimate lesson from this reading today. But, you know, I really hope you guys did enjoy and found this reading to be insightful. And, you know, if you did, I would love it so much if you could just give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below if it did resonate with you, because I always love to read all of your comments and see how these readings are really applying to you and affecting your guys' lives. So, you know, that would be amazing. And I also have another pick a card reading, which I'm going to link at the top of the screen right here. So you can check this one out next if you have some time. It's going to be a really great reading that I think you will definitely enjoy, especially if you found this one to be insightful. So, you know, that is it for today's reading. I really hope again that you guys enjoyed it and, you know, found it to be impactful for you. And I am sending all of my love and blessings to you until next time. Bye guys.